Hi, I'm Paul Schmutzler, and today I'm going to show you how to use PTZ Optics robotic cameras for live productions with the NewTek TriCaster Mini. This video tutorial is sponsored by VideoGuys.com. Pan tilt zoom cameras, or PTZ, are having a renaissance right now with the advent of smaller, more sensitive HD imaging sensors. And PTZ Optics is riding that wave with some of the best and most affordable PTZ cameras on the market. Today I'm going to show you how with just a few PTZ Optics cameras and a new tech TriCaster Mini, you can get your live event onto the internet with ease. This combination is also known for easy integration with Wirecast, vMix, and other popular streaming solutions such as the Epiphone Pearl. To demonstrate this workflow in a real world use, I took the gear to a local church that already has a great broadcast setup. This system consists of a TriCaster Mini, two PTZ Optics full HD cameras, and a PTZ Optics hardware controller. The beauty of having a TriCaster in this system is that the TriCaster software can control the PTZ cameras in case you don't have the optional hardware controller. I'm going to demonstrate both setups in this tutorial. For smaller churches, this helps by eliminating the need for cameramen at each location. Plus, you can install these compact cameras in hard to reach or line of sight locations without affecting the audience experience. For this setup, we're going to have one camera about 50 feet from the TriCaster. The other camera will be close by near the back of house. NewTek offers an HDMI cable that will run a rock solid signal up to 100 feet. Controlling the PTZ Optics cameras is as straightforward as it gets. There's a standard joystick for moving the camera. In the center of the controller, you can use optional buttons to operate iris, focus, and zoom. There are additional buttons for functions and programmable presets. If you opt to control the cameras with the TriCaster, simply select the gear icon on the camera feed. Navigate to the PTZ tab and choose the appropriate input for your cameras. The PTZ Optics cameras use the Sony RS-232 configuration. Now you can use the PTZ tab in the TriCaster interface to set up preset camera positions that can be quickly accessed by a single operator. Once you're operational with both cameras, you're ready to start switching and go live. The TriCaster is compatible with many streaming services, but sometimes you want to stream to multiple services simultaneously, like YouTube Live, Ustream, and ChurchStreaming.tv. This is where a service like Joycaster comes in. Joycaster allows you to stream all of your live web content to multiple video platforms and channels simultaneously by managing the distribution to multiple CDNs or OVPs. Set up a Joycaster account and then link your platform accounts to it. Once that's done, the complication of setting up a live stream is taken care of once and for all so you can concentrate on making your production look great. Alternatively, the TriCaster Advanced software enables you to set up and stream to multiple CDNs as well. PTZ Optics cameras are available in HDMI and USB versions, like the ones shown in this video, or with HDSDI, perfect for larger churches, event centers, and large venues. The cameras start at just $15.99, and special bundles are available with the controller and the streaming solution of your choice, like the NewTek TriCaster Mini. For more information, contact our sponsors, The Video Guys, at 800-323-2325.